Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something very useful, and that is the fully automatic melon and pumpkin farm. Now as I'm sure you're all aware, melons and pumpkins are very low maintenance, you don't really have to do anything to look after them. You just break down the block and it will regrow again, you don't have to plant any seeds or do any funny business to make it work. So for that reason, they are extremely useful for fully automatic farms, because like I said, all you have to do is break the block down with a piston and then it's ready to go again. No use user maintenance and you end up with tons of melons and pumpkins. Now as I'm sure you can imagine, there are hundreds of different automatic melon and pumpkin farms out there. Some of them are better than others, so I thought I'd run you through the good points about this design. The first one being, it doesn't waste any melons. Very few of them fly off to the side or spaz out. It's quite simple. Most of them go down the little hole and you'll see that right here. All of them went through and they all got pushed down into this hopper, which will then transfer all of those items into this chest. Another minor positive about this design is that it is pretty slim. It's only four blocks wide, which isn't really a big deal because generally speaking, you don't need your farms to be nice and compact because you're not trying to slot them in anywhere. You make quite a lot of space for a farm. However, what it does mean is you can slot a lot of these next to one another. So on the screen now should be a cinematic of a slightly upscaled version that I have built with plenty of modules that produces huge amounts of melons each time it harvests. It's entirely impractical and completely pointless because you're never going to need that many melons, but it was a really fun project to work on. And if you do want to check out that world, then there will be a world download in the description below. But anyway, back down to basics, I now have to show you how to build this thing, so without further ado, let's crack straight on with this tutorial. So you want to get things started with a 4x13 area, go right over to this side, and we are going to start things off with our water stream. Now I'm going to be using ice for this part just because it makes the transfer of items a little bit faster, but you just want to count 8 blocks along, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 and then place blocks around to stop your water from flowing out everywhere because we definitely don't want that happening, so we're just going to put all of those in. Then our water source block at this end here, and that is going to push all of our items down into this hopper, which is then going to run all of the items down into this chest right here. Now we're going to begin adding the redstone elements, so you just want to place a line of sticky pistons going for the length of your water stream, so that should be 8 blocks, just continue that right the way out there, and then place your dirt blocks on the faces of those pistons, then on this side you just want to place another line of dirt blocks, and then till the soil and place your melon seed, just till all of this soil here, and place your melon seed down. Once you have the melon seed in place, then the tilled soil will not break, so you don't need any water around these dirt blocks here. That will all be fine. So for the wiring, you want to place blocks all the way across the top of these pistons here with redstone dust on top of it like that. And then you want to go a couple blocks up like this and place sticky pistons facing downwards like that. Just going all the way along once again until you reach the end here which is eight blocks along, and then you just want to take out that block there and place blocks going all the way across like this with redstone dust on top of those, and then you can use a block of your choice on the face of these pistons. Now, just as a warning, I would seriously, seriously prefer it if you used a solid block. So you can't use glass or glowstone or redstone blocks or anything like that, because if you do, then there is a high chance that the melons are going to spill everywhere, and that is not what you want. These solid blocks, they will push the melon, they won't squash it so that it blows up everywhere. It's quite hard to explain, but do a little experiment yourself and you'll see what I mean. For the circuit, you want to go down to the bottom here and place a block like this. Take out that redstone and that block and place a redstone torch there. And you should see that all of these pistons will extend. So now, just go down like this. Place a piece of redstone dust and a block up like that and then you're going to grab a regular piston with sand on top or a sticky piston with a block on top if you're feeling a little bit more snazzy. Then place a repeater and a block down here with redstone dust like that and then you're going to have to wire up this piston by just doing something like this. But there we go, that is the circuit done. Next thing you want to do is just fill in this space back here so no melons fly out the back. Try not to place any blocks on top of your plants. And then you want to set this repeater here to two ticks. Sorry I made a mistake. And if we give it a quick test with this button, you should see that those blocks get retracted. Then these blocks pulse downwards which will break the melons. And all of them should flow down into this little water stream which will put them all into this chest. So that all looks like good news to me. 
If all you want is a semi-automatic farm where you have to press a button each time you want to use it, then you have got the circuit in place, but if you want to make it fully automatic, then you're going to have to do this. So you want to place a dropper facing upwards with a hopper on top, then place an item into that dropper there. Then you want to take a comparator output from the upper hopper with a block like this, a block here, and then another block like that, like there, block, and then a block there, and then you just want to place blocks along like this, and a block up like that. You want to place repeaters, and a repeater here, with redstone dust like that, and a repeater like that, with redstone dust there, and a redstone torch like that as well. You then want to set this repeater here to 4 ticks, and this one to 2 ticks. Place a block on top of that redstone torch with a redstone torch on the side like that. A block here with a repeater running into this block. And that will mean that you can now run an input into this part and it will give the correct pulse length for this build. So now all we have to do is hook it up to a timer. Now the type of timer that you use is entirely up to you. However, I like to go for a good old fashioned hopper timer because that means that you can get quite a lot of delay in a very small space so you just want to create this sort of v-shape here and then place your two hoppers in the middle I'm sure you know how to build a hopper timer by now and you're gonna fill these hoppers up with items I'm gonna go for three stacks place a comparator on each edge like this then you want to go down below and just take out these blocks here because we don't really need them and place a block right here and a block on the other side with redstone dust like this and redstone dust like this a sticky piston facing in this direction with a redstone block right there and then another sticky piston facing in the opposite direction with redstone dust on the back of it and that is your hopper timer done. So now all you have to do is link it up to your dropper little setup and the way that we do that is by placing a repeater and running it into this block at the bottom of the dropper. All that's left to do now is do a little bit more decorating so it doesn't look so ugly but there we have it, you have built yourself a fully automatic melon farm and it certainly wasn't that difficult was it? So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching guys, this has been Mumbo and I'm out, I'll see you later.